In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the press pull command in AutoCAD to create a 3D solid object. As you can see, I have several objects drawn on screen, and there are different types of objects. This one over here is a set of joined polylines. This one is a set of overlapping lines. This one uh, looks like a joined polyline, but it is actually separate lines. And we're going to see how we can take each of these and turn them into 3D. I'm going to go ahead and select my home button on my view cube to switch to the 3D view. Then I'm going to choose on my home tab in the modeling panel, the press pull tool. The way this tool works is similar to the hatching command. You want to click inside a region that you want to extrude. So I can select inside the box here and you can see that it is instantly in the 3D tool. Then I can specify a height. It's important to notice the UCS icon and the direction that Z is going. Z is positive as it goes up. So if I type three and enter, I will get a block three inches tall that goes up from that original sketch. I'm going to undo and press pull that one more time. And this time I'm going to put in negative three. And you can see that it goes down from the original sketch. So it's important to note the direction that you want the extrusion to go. One of the big advantages of the press pull tool is you do not have to have a closed polyline to create a solid. So here I have overlapping lines. Since there is an internal region that's closed off though, it will recognize it and allow me to extrude that shape. In this last example, I have a hole. This is another big advantage of the press pull tool is it could recognize internal islands, just like the hatching command. So I can select inside this region here and you can see that it recognizes the cylindrical hole that would be cut out. I'll type in a distance and press enter and you can see the solid shape there. I'll go ahead and switch my view style to shaded with edges so we can see the 3D solids there. Now one of the disadvantages of the press pull tool is it does not consume the sketches used to make the parts. So as I move this rectangle out of the way, you can see the original sketch is still there. So you might end up with some extra lines that you need to erase. Same thing with this particular one. And if I look from the bottom, I can see that some of the sketch lines still exist on this one. One quick way to get rid of them is to select everything with a window, then hold the shift key and click on the solid to remove it from the selection set. Then you're left with just the sketched objects and you can just simply erase them. Again, I can do the same thing with this solid here and then erase. Another advantage of the press pull tool is it will allow you to press and pull on surfaces of a solid. So as you can see, I can use the press pull tool and actually pull out some of the faces of this earlier solid that I created. Now in those couple of examples, I just did it visually, but obviously you can type in distances to make that accurate. So once again, the press pull tool, really quick way to create a 3D solid object. A couple of advantages that we saw, they don't have to be closed polylines, they could be overlapped lines. But the big disadvantage is you have to remember to go in and erase your sketch lines when you're done. That concludes this look at the press pull tool in AutoCAD.